Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, Christian here from Project Portal. And today's video, we're going to be discussing uh, how to add a second layer of shrink wrap to your batteries if they're used or brand new. Um, these ones I just got back from Traxxas uh, during through the uh, RMA process. So um, you can see here that there's a second layer of shrink wrap to add as a protectant against any uh, cracks on the plastic shrink wrap underneath, as well as um, how I label my batteries in order to keep them in parallel since we do run them uh, two batteries at a time. Uh, these batteries are for my X-Max. Uh, I have another set for my X-Max as you can see here, uh, the, the battery flew out and then the plastic shrink wrap gets all mangled up, you know, from time to time. So if I didn't have that second layer of shrink wrap, uh, basically that would be on the, the stock uh, black shrink wrap. So this extra layer does help a lot and it does keep your batteries looking new uh, once you take it off uh, for example here's one with shrink wrap on it you can see it's all scuffed up from being ran in my erevo 2.0 and i took off the other layer of shrink wrap on there and it still looks fairly brand new right so uh one cool thing about that is is uh when you send them out to traxxas uh they'll still look new they won't look very abused um, if you do an RMA process. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to label it or the process that I go through to label my batteries, uh, color coordinating them as well as labeling them, uh, you know, TRX 3A or TRX 3B um, and vice versa. So let's go ahead and take a look on the bench. All right, guys. So this is a follow up as well as a how to video um, on the RMA that I sent out to Traxxas on two batteries and a ESC that I had sent in that was blown out. So it's been about two and a half weeks uh, since I got my stuff back. And uh, so essentially I'm not really gonna do anything in regards to the the ESC, but just to kind of show you what they, they send you back. Um, send you back like an inventory list of what you, you sent in. And that's pretty much it. Uh, they did send it in separate packages. So the ESC came in like this. Now I have a new ESC for my X-Max. It's an 8S, most likely the newer model with updated firmware. And here we go. Now we have our Two Traxxas 3S batteries. These are um, 8,400 milliamp hour batteries. Um, so what we're going to be doing in this video is um, what I like to do is try to organize my batteries as well as make sure that I label them and co color coordinate them uh, by pairs. And I do uh, use my own method of, um, I guess, uh, organizing these. So for example, my E Revo batteries, I do uh, label them. I do put some electrical tape as well as I label them. You know, Traxxas one uh, A and Traxxas one B. Uh, here's my other set because they're exactly the same. So Traxxas two uh, A two B. Um, I have my Traxxas five A and five B. These are four S batteries. Um, I have another set that I. I got new, I haven't, I did not um, label these or color, color coordinate them, uh, but I, we're gonna be doing that in this video, um, as well as uh, putting an extra layer of protection. And I will unwrap one of these to show you uh, the before and after. So after bashing it around, they get scratched up and scuffed up. But once you remove the, the second layer of um, shrink wrap, you'll see that the batteries look pretty much brand new. Uh, we're going to be doing that um, with these uh, two batteries that I got in. So 
this one I have already open. So as you can tell, um, it's a pretty large battery. So we're gonna need some pretty good uh, sized shrink wrap for this. Um, I did buy some on eBay um, and I found that for this specific battery size, uh, the 85 millimeter um, clear shrink wrap works best for it. And so what we're gonna do for these ones, I guess we'll, we'll wrap them with uh, some blue electrical tape on the bottom and we'll apply our label. I'm gonna be uh, printing out a few labels um, for the 3S batteries as well as the, the 4S batteries. And um, we'll be shrink wrapping them with the second coat. So um, to kind of get started, I will uh, guess we can remove uh, some of the shrink wrap. So if you can see here, um, it's pretty scuffed up from being in the chassis when you go bashing. Um, here's another example of how they look. And if you ha don't have, and if you don't have a protective uh, second uh, shrink wrap, um, the original packaging or labeling on it does get damaged. So um, there's another thing that I've done on them, on some of these for my Venom charger, just put a, a quick, uh, QR code on there so it just auto selects on my charger. So we can actually do this one since it's pretty damaged. So this was probably from some sand that got in, but overall you can tell that the battery itself still looks new. And you can replace that cover over and over again. Here's the shrink wrap I got pretty messed up from bashing and being inside of the chassis. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, these Traxxas 3S 8,400 milliamp batteries. And one thing I did want to point out for example, um, putting this electrical tape on the end, um, it does actually protect the original uh, plastic or shrink wrap that's on it. And I'll give you a prime example. For example, I did not put it on this battery, the electrical tape around it. So, um, and I did not put the protective coating. I took it out bashing for the first time when I got these batteries and I took a hard hit. And for example, look at the, the original packaging. So I think it's super beneficial um, to basically protect the, the edges on these. I don't really do it for the top because I've never really had any is issues with that. But um, I mean, if you're spending a few hundred dollars on a set of batteries, you want to protect your investment and make them last longer. And that way, when you send them back to Traxxas, they still look in, in, in good work and order. All right, so now that we have um, some shrink wrap on this, gonna do the other one and if you do it this way you're kind of eliminating the the need to have to uh, put electrical tape around your batteries once you bash them and they get kind of banged up looks kind of janky if you ask me they'll end up looking like a little grenade all right so now that we have those um, color coded with some electrical tape. We're gonna use the label maker to print out some new uh, labels for this. So, so for these batteries, we're gonna do uh, TRX 3A and 3B. All right, so now we have our two brand new batteries, um, TRX 3A and 3B. Now it's time to get some shrink wrap.
Let's go ahead and measure this out. You want to give yourself about an inch for each battery. And then uh, on each side. So we're going to go ahead and basically mark it. And you may be thinking this may be overkill, but in all honesty, if you're spending a ton of money on these batteries, you wanna keep them around as long as possible. So this is, again, 85 millimeter shrink wrap. You do have to do a little bit of finagling to get it in, but. So if you come in from the top, it's actually easier. some heat this might be a little too long so I might have to redo this So for those of you that are wondering, um, this doesn't really damage your batteries uh, when you heat it up because the battery itself is not even hot. And I damaged some shrink wrap. It's all right, those are for the 4S batteries. So for the next one, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'll do like half inch on each side. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can definitely guesstimate. All right, so I forgot to press record, but essentially I redid, I'm gonna redo the Traxxas 3A battery shrink wrap. I don't like the way it came out. 
I'm basically going to just cut it by a, one inch. And so this one is an, an inch shorter than the other. And you can see that it's, it's a bit cleaner, right? So again, this is not a necessity. Um, I just like to protect my investment, especially because these batteries are pretty expensive. Um, you know, two of these would run you about 400 bucks, <clears throat> uh, brand new, but they do last a long time. And then Traxxas does provide you with that ability to send them back in for the, the battery replacement program. So you get, basically you pay one, uh, pay for one battery and you get the other one, uh, basically free. Um, so yeah, there you go. We got a 3A and a 3B. So I'm going to be rewrapping these bad boys right here, uh, labeling them and trying to fix this with some black electrical tape on this one. I'm gonna rewrap this bad boy right here. And since these ones are still good, I'm gonna leave the original coating on there until they rip. So if you wanna keep your batteries looking new, fresh, um, I highly recommend this. You can probably even put a piece of rubber or something on there, kind of like this. Hmm. That might be a good idea for the next one. Although this rubber is kind of old, so. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video on how to basically protect your batteries with the second layer of shrink wrap. I'm going to redo this, so. All right. If you guys have any questions, just uh, ask in the comment section below and have a good one. Bum, 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 bum,